Hello sacred beings. Today I am doing the collective energy reading for July 13th. Yes, maybe? Yes, I believe it's the 13th. <laughs> um, I'm going to be looking at what spirit would like to show us, um, what it is we need to be focusing on, our shadows, etc. If if this resonates with you, please comment down below. And if you're looking uh, for a personal reading, you can head over to my Instagram at Soul Journey Magics and go to the link in the bio, and you can then go to my Etsy <laughs> and um, and purchase a reading. Uh, the cards are falling all over the place today. I'm using the Bonefire Tarot. Now, the Bonefire Tarot for me is a very special deck. Um, it brings out very clear messages. It it brings out things. Um, and it usually very much tells me when it wants to be used. So today, I'm, you know, usually I use the Star Child Tarot, but today I'm using the Bonefire. So we'll see what she has to say to us. I'm very excited. Don't forget, if you'd like to see these daily readings, uh, subscribe to or like whatever platform you're seeing it on. I try to post these every day. Um, I will not be posting them next Thursday through Monday just because I will be on a spiritual retreat. Um, so I will not be able to get online. Um, so be aware of that, but I will be back after that. All right, two cards already fell out, so I'm going to read those as well. How are you all doing today? Comment down below. What's going on for you guys? What are you grateful for? What's going on? All right, here we go. Mm. Ooh, there's another card. All right, there we go. Kitty, kitty. Ooh, double card, okay. These readings are getting bigger and bigger every single day. All right, so first I am going to flip over the main card today. The main energy is the Lover's card. Very interesting. What's the card that came out with that? Ace of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this is pretty clear. Today is about cutting the bull in our relationships, removing the things that are not serving anymore, um, deciding on what we want in the relationship. Um, and this is really about thoughts. So what is not serving you within your thoughts in your relationship? Are you being honest with yourself about the relationship? Are you buying into things that aren't working for you? So I really feel like whatever this is with the lovers, what is that looking like? Now this, for the people who are not in relationships, this could be any relationship. Um, that you feel a close bond with, but even more so with you. Where are you not cutting the bullshit with yourself? Um, and so for people who are in a relationship, I do feel this is very much for your relationship, but for people who, not, who are not, look at how this can apply to you. What is going to help, a, ooh, I'm sensing this one. Okay, so the main, and interesting, the main energy for the whole reading is the two of swords in reverse. So again, this is not, this is, we want to be making choices. This is something we're ignoring. We're not sitting down and becoming present with the intention we have um, for the relationship, but what is no longer serving us. So what's going to help us is two of wands. Look at that, making choices, doing things, going out, um, taking action. So this is not about sitting down and just like letting stuff happen. This is about we're recreating our relationships right now. We are rededicating or making action towards what we want for our relationships with our partners and with ourselves. And what's going to hinder us is Five of Cups. Very interesting. This is so, <laughs> so specific. Um, five of Cups is about sorrow. It's about not feeling good. So I really feel like what's hindering us is we're not feeling good. Maybe if you want to be in this relationship and you're just not feeling it right now, that's really hindering this um, possibility to rekindle um, and renew <clears throat> the relationship with yourself or the person you're with. But this I also feel like, um, because this is the shadow side, this is about not having gratitude for what is. Um, oftentimes this is represented with a person and there's five cups, three have been knocked over, two are standing up and the person's not paying attention to what is in the cups but the ones that have been knocked over. So be aware of where you're not having gratitude for what you have in your relationship and bringing gratitude into the relationship is really going to help heal that. 
The cards that came out were Seven of Cups, the Tower, Jesus, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Very interesting. So the Seven of Cups is, um, there's a couple meanings, but right now I'm really feeling like this is about um, a, being kind of all over the place, almost like having a bunch of un, unrealistic expectations. Um, I, this can also mean have, you know, kind of reaching for the stars with your um, desires, but I really feel like this is more like the shadow aspect of this card. And it's really about almost being like too all over the place, not being really focused. Um, it is cup, so it is about emotions. It's kind of about being all over the place, not really knowing what you want. Um, and then the tower is about releasing, again, what no longer serves so that the new can grow. So be aware that your um, unrealistic expectations could be what you need to let go of. Um, this is about the things are going to start crumbling, I feel like. Um, and again, I really feel like this is for people in relationships, um, but also with yourself. But very much about relationships. So this could be not necessarily a lover's relationship, like, you know, romantic, but this is going to be about whoever you're feeling closest to and bonded to. Um, because we're removing the shadow, not removing the shadow, but integrating the shadow and releasing what no longer serves within us, this is going to start manifesting within our relationships as well. So this is really about understanding where your unrealistic expectations are. And this is six of swords in reverse. So I really feel like this is about feeling like there's a lot of shadow, maybe feeling like um, things aren't moving quickly enough for you, um, not feeling like things are really in a forward motion. So be aware of that um, and see where that resonates. The other cards that I pulled out was Queen of Wands and Four of Coins. Interesting. So for Queen of Wands, I always see this as about knowing your own personal power, knowing what you're worth, and um, taking action with what feels good. And then Four of Coins, I feel is about... Um, it is about kind of like in reverse, it's about kind of like hoarding or being a little bit miserish, but up front, like this way, I feel like it's about protecting what's worth to you. Um, being um, aware of, you know, maybe your own personal finances, your personal things, your personal boundaries. So I feel like this is about knowing what you want and setting those boundaries up. And this doesn't necessarily need to be bad. Um, this is just about knowing what's good for you. And coming out here with the Queen of Wands, I really feel like this is knowing what you're worth and being protective of it and knowing that you deserve to feel good. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Comment down below if you have any questions. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, head over to my Etsy shop or my Instagram, Soul Journey Magics with an S, and you can purchase a personal reading. Um, also follow whatever platform you're seeing this video on. I do try to post every single day. Um, thank you so much for watching. Namaste, and don't forget, it's all about the soul journey. Bye!